So for all intents and purposes, we're out of the playoffs. Yeah, most so, likely. That's that's a so, crazy scenario. But it's awesome. Process, yeah. It's awesome just to be in the talks. <laughs> That's Anthony Sellers. That's Eric Jordan. And this is Browns, Browns in Our Blood. <laughs> big win, big win, big U win. Ugly win, but. Yeah, hey, I take them any way we can get them. Yeah, ugly win better than a pretty loss. Hey, what'd he say? Thoughts on the win against the Denver Broncos. Thoughts on the Browns versus Broncos win. Um, defense. Defense really. Baker, I mean, offense looked good too, but what I really noticed big time. And uh, we always watch the, um, the highlights right before we do the show. And um, defense stepped up, uh, holding them, holding them to 16 points. That's big. Holding them, any home team to only 16 points, I think that's pretty good. That puts us in a position to win. It's real peppers, man. Big interception, and then the sack at the end. He deserved to wear the jersey today. Ah, <laughs> he earned it. I remember all that season when you was like just a win, just to wear that new jersey. Yeah. But Pep, you, that's what we've been waiting to see, Pep. I mean, he been playing good all year, man. But yeah, that's that yeah, was next level. You, I mean, yeah, he that had interception in the end zone, first half. Had a real big impact on the game. Yeah, yeah. Shaw Perryman, looking good, and looking good. I think he's gonna steal some number Shaw Higgins touches. Uh, they all look good though. They all look good. I like the offense. Um, you know, the I, I thought we didn't handle the. The clock, we got away with some sloppy clock management and play calling at the end. Um, I don't know about that fourth and one and us, you know, running it. I, we got bake. Let bake be bake, you know. I, that's what I really do. I feel fourth. like that one was a double-edged sword, though, because if you get the first down, like it's fourth and one, if you get that, yeah, I get it, it runs the clock out because they have no timeout stuff. You only right. have to take two knees after that point. Y'all forget real quick, boy, just like a few games. Y'all forget how it was last couple years. Man, I ain't taking no chances. Be aggressive to win just the game. Just don't take for granted we're going to get this game. I can understand we get more established like this, but right now, this year and next year, I, I say we be aggressive to, to win the game. Well, with the way the game was going, though, trusting the defense, I I don't think it's that bad of a bet. Bro, it was 16. I mean, the score is 17, 16. is a one-point difference. And they still had to go 90 yards on our defense, which has been holding them. Well, that's just a different views, uh, different aspect. I, I'm like, to me, that's kind of like, you know, you know, going, are you going, are you going to go for the two-pointer or are you just going to keep the field goal? I think you play aggressive, aggressive to win the game. If it wasn't the end of the game, I'm cool with giving the ball the shove. But to win the game... I wanted them Baker's hands, man. I wanted them Baker's hands. So that's just me. But they, man, they look good. That's all I really got in the game. I was, I was really impressed with the defense. The defense did what it had to do to win the game. And offensively, you know, I would have liked to see us put up more points. But that's coming. I think part of that was, honestly, a lot of it was on Baker because a lot of his throws were high. He just, it, they just kept sailing on him for whatever reason. It might have been that altitude. Yeah, he was, he was just, he was having an off night. Might have been that, was, might have been that high altitude. He improved in the second half, but overall, it was still, it was a tough game for him overall. That high altitude, prime time, adrenaline's rushing a lot on the game. He might just been a little off. What's next with the playoffs now all but gone? I saw this on our topic sheet today. Explain. No more playoffs. What do you mean? Pretty much out of it. We got one crazy scenario. You one got. crazy scenario. Mathematically still alive, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but for Tit all intents, Titans and who else got the Titans? Titans and Colts have to lose this week and then tie next week. And then we have to win out. Both the oh, so they have to Titans and Colts both have to lose this week, this regular lose. And yeah. they play each other. Yeah, they and play then each they, other. And then they have to tie. Yeah. So for all intents and purposes, we're out of the playoffs. Yeah, most so. likely. That's that's a so, crazy scenario, but it's awesome. Sense, yeah. It's awesome just to be in the talks. <laughs> I love it to okay. be in the conversation. Yes yes, 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 yes. To be to have a little bit of respect on the name. How can the Browns make the playoffs in 2019? Okay, 2019. What what do you want to see happen? What are well, obviously now you want to see playoffs. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, to make playoffs happen, what do you think needs to be addressed? Needs to be addressed? Left tackle. Mm -hmm. Both tackle spots, honestly, but I think that's probably the biggest need. And I mean, the offensive line been playing pretty good. They have been playing pretty good, but the tackles have been holding back. Hmm. Not in my opinion. So you think the offensive because, line is good yes, as they've been? They can be perfect even examples. That fourth and one play that you were talking about, you wanted in Baker's hands. Right. That guy blew right inside past Robinson. Yeah, Robinson. Yeah. And he had a holding penalty that negated yeah. another 30, 35 yard run on Chubb, yeah. and it's just because he's not athletic enough. And, 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 and he did the bear hug. Those and he's not always that focused either. Exactly. He gets, he gets some penalties called on him also. Rumor going around, two first rounds. For Odell? I don't know if I would do that. I would have given up two first rounders, man. I know, that's a lot. But I don't think two first rounders, you're going to find some of the Odell talent. And, and do you, I mean, the backstory alone is kind of decent with him and Jarvis. You know, they both played at LSU. They're right. way they're best friends. The way some people say Odell's not as focused because Jarvis isn't in his life. You're talking about surrounding Baker with some talent. But the argument to that is with Odell, do you feel like he's going to have to force feed him? That he's going to feel like he's going to have to force feed and get him a lot of more targets? All, because all those little off the, off the field problems that you think you have with um I'm not talking Odell, off the field. I'm talking off even, the field. Even ego on the sideline and all that. I think all that is different because Jarvis is there. And Jarvis is like his big brother. Jarvis is like his big brother. They're best friends. They played together at LSU. They feed off each other. I don't know if you've seen them, but they both they both been at each other's draft parties. They cried on draft day together. They are tight. They are really tight. They are really tight. So it'd be like, I think all that extra stuff that you get from Odell, you're not going to get in Cleveland because of Jarvis there. Or you might get even worse because they both will turn on you. Jarvis and Odell be screaming. <laughs> it, exactly. might be wor it might be worse. I would do it. The reason I would do it, I'm going to give you a couple of examples where it's been done this year and it's been a night and day. I think Odell, Odell Beckham is Khalil Mack talent. I think he's that kind of talent put in the right situation. I think Odell Beckham. See, that you, you just said it, though, put in the right situation. And I think Cleveland. I don't think, there's a Mack, I, I don't think there's a better situation than Cleveland in the NFL. But Khalil Mack is that kind of player in any situation. He's going to transcend. He was, he he was, was transcending any team. Oakland wasn't winning like that. Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper. You know, that that team's definitely different since Amari's been there. That is true. I'll give you that one. So I'm just saying, when when you got pieces in place, a couple pieces, Odell Beckham could be. But then, okay, that's just one scenario. I'm with take Odell. You would not take Odell. You like serve those. Number ones. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm like, Odell is that kind of talent. I'm going for it. Do we make a play for Le'Veon? If the price is right. What's the price? What's the right price for you? That I don't know. But then again, Chubb's been so consistent. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm with you on that. I would, I would... I would rather see Odell come in, but not at two first rounders. I would rather see Odell coming in because we're a little bit depleted at wide receiver we're not don't have as much depth than what we do at the running backs than bringing in Le'Veon so I would rather I would rather have have Odell than Le'Veon just it. because of the way the team dynamic already is and and where our talent level is with the running backs and guys this is we're, this we used to talk wish list this ain't wish list no more because players want to come to Cleveland now you can better believe Odell Beckham knows with Jarvis over there and that guy throwing the ball his productivity, his product, his productivity is gonna go through the roof. His branding is going through the roof. The NFL is gonna have Odell Beckham and Baker Mayfield. They already talk about both of them every morning. Now you got them on the same team. It's a win-win for everybody. So this is not some crazy wish list, because I, from what I hear, Odell wants to come to Cleveland. He wants to come to Cleveland. He wants to be around his brother Jarvis. He wants Baker throwing him the ball. You know, I mean, woo! Win win, man. I'm cool. Keep with that as we got it, or, or, or go get Odell. So, what do you think the biggest need heading into 2019 is going to be? Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm going to say, um, for me, I, I think it's more receiver talent. I, I like the receivers that we got, but I think we need a big body. I, I, I'm really looking forward to the second year of Antonio Callaway, Prashard. Perryman, that's if he, if they re-sign. Because it was a one-year, right? Yeah. I think he definitely um, needs to be re-signed, though. Um, just look at that. But I would definitely draft a free agent, be looking for another playmaker, another playmaker. Another playmaker. I, I don't think we need that in our backfield. I like our backfield. I'm cool, so I'm cool with our running backs. So I'm thinking of a, a big body receiver. Defense always, man. You know, it's crazy. We were talking about Jamie Collins last night. Jamie Collins last week. He, he made some good plays yesterday. So, or Saturday. I feel like the plays he made were more towards the beginning of the game this year. Or mm -hmm. this week. Yeah, I go another playmaker. Another playmaker. Put more talent around him. Baker, even though I do think the talent that we got that's developing will develop more. I do worry about Antonio Callaway's off season. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to do work hard, but, but that's, that's what you got. That's the dope thing about Jarvis, because you know Jarvis is going to make everybody accountable. And Baker, too. I think him and Baker together, their, their mentalities together are going to force people to have good off seasons, make them accountable. I, can, I agree with that. I think wide receiver and, like I said before, left tackle. What kind of impact do you want to see from the next head coach? What kind of impact do you want to see from the next head coach? I don't want to see the next head coach. I want Greg Williams. I I, I do. I what, like what, I like Greg Williams. I what like, do you think his chances are? Like realistic chances. What do you think his chances are to be the head coach? It should be good. But, you know, I trust Dorsey. I think it should be good. But I do got a feeling Dorsey is going to look into some other things. But I tell you what, if he closes out, man, he deserves it. He deserves it. And, and speaking of, we hit my my prediction. It's the six wins. We got six wins. That's what I predicted yep. for the year, six wins. So we got that. Everything else is a bonus. If we roll out, we'll hit his prediction. Yeah, which was said eight and eight. Yeah, it was, was eight and eight. So, But if we do get a coach, and I, if we do get a coach, I hope it's either um, Lincoln Riley and if it's Lincoln Riley, he can do whatever the hell he wanted to, blow it all up from the beginning. <laughs> but if it's Bruce Arians, which I do think if they take somebody, it's going to be Bruce Arians. I think I hope Bruce Arians keeps Greg Williams, and I hope he keeps Freddie Kitchens. It makes you wonder, if they bring Arians in, are they bringing him in to groom Kitchens to be the next head coach since Kitchens is a little bit younger, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's the only thing I think of if they're going to do that. You know, which will be good because then it shows that you have a plan in place, which right. is something that we're not used to either. Right. You know, the front office actually having a plan in place and executing that plan. Right. So, I just want to see the next head coach, whoever it is, I want to see the cohesion like we got now. Mm -hmm. I want to see him being able to keep everybody on the same page and have that same same mentality from everybody, which... We got to, starting to get the players in place for that too, you know, because of Jarvis with Baker. They both have those kind of, you know, mm -hmm. accountability, like you said earlier, keeping everybody accountable and making sure that the work ethic is there. You need the coach to be able to keep that in line with the front office and everybody else. So right. that's what I want to see. I personally think Greg Williams has a good case for a head coach to make it as the head coach this year, but or next year I should say. But I just. I don't know if they're going to go that route. I think they they want to explore all their options right. because because of Greg Williams' checkered past. What are your expectations against the Cincinnati Bengals? All right, expectations for the Cincinnati game. <laughs> I expect to win, but Cincinnati played really well this week. They look a little better they, with Driscoll than they, they do with Dalton. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they, they look pretty good. He even Driscoll looked good against us when he came in. Yes, yeah. he came in against us that first week a few weeks ago. Yeah, I I expect to win. Uh, I'm thinking like twenty four to seventeen. My school twenty four seventeen. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we got to be concerned about young players feeling confident because they beat this team already, and they and then how much public how much. How much of a, a lift it was to beat Cincinnati? That whole hype. I hope it just don't go to our head. I don't know. I hope we don't take them for granted. I'm worried about that. Honestly, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think Mixon and Tyler Boyd and Driscoll are going to put up some points, and I think we're going to put up some points. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 42-35.
both the defenses are good. Our defense is really good. But, but I don't know. It's something about Driscoll. It's just something about him. Something about him. Um, not saying he's super great, but just he got a candy for being this it. Is his, this is his opportunity. He's got yeah. to make got to shine, so yeah. he's got to do what he got to do. And I just, for some but, reason, my gut says Tyler Boyd goes off on us, man. I think having, if Ward can, can clear concussion protocol and be back, and then we have Ward and Mitchell yeah. back, we didn't have Mitchell last time, so True. I think that'll help us out, too. True. If we True. have both of them, like, you have a full defensive backfield yeah. this week, I think that helps our, if our we have a Yes, if we have a full defensive backfield, then yeah. Yeah, but regardless what it is, I see us beating Cincinnati. The way Chubb's been playing, like I say, he's been the most consistent the whole this season since he's become a starter. The yeah. most consistent player on the offense. And keep just keep you feeding him. And it'll be I think we'll be up be alright. Yeah, me too. Get those eight targets you know, five to eight targets for Johnson. I'm hoping more towards eight, you know, because I'm a Johnson fan. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> Pause. Play fantasy football on FanDuel with us. We got we got some fancy football to talk about, though. Yes, we got fancy football. We got some FanDuel. Let me pull that up. You didn't need to pull it up. I'll let you know right now. I want that bad boy again. Bearman Pig came in second place right behind me like he did last week. Same repeat faction. But um, Bearman Pig, I'm sorry, Johnny. You know, good try, but two weeks in a row. I'm still pulling it up. <laughs> Even though he knows, I'm still pulling it up. Dude, you crushed. Beat him by 25. But we got to talk about the playoffs. Yeah, playoffs tonight. Bet. Yes, y'all know last week we bet it. Yes. Because we played in semifinals, and it's coming down to the tonight. Monday night game tonight. I'm up by 20 points as Ooh. it is. But you have two players. Uh, I have one. Right. You have, who do you have, Michael Thomas and uh, Mike, Curtis Samuels? I got Michael Thomas and Curtis Samuel, and he got Christian McCaffrey. <sighs> but hopefully so. that number one defense in New Orleans shows up tonight. Oh, God, but Christian McCaffrey been killing everybody. So he's due to have a bad game. He's due. He's due. Hey. So, yeah, push-ups next week. We would have done it a day. But, we, but we, we're recording on a Monday, yeah. so. Next week, I yeah. will be in the championship, and he'll be doing push-ups. So. Well, I'll tell you what. He's I up think. 20 points. Hey, if you like playing fantasy football and you want to play fantasy football with us, the description, the link for the, the link to play play fantasy football is down in the description box. You just click it down there. Go down there. You can play with us, man. We play every Sunday at 1 o'clock games. And, uh, yeah, $2 entry fee. You can win some money like I have for the last couple of weeks. We got to change that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that. goodness oh my goodness you can find all these shows our shows on YouTube at Muscle Lung Sound Vision yeah you just hit the little bell yeah get uh, subscribe to get notifications when he posts stuff right post everything you can get all his content right and leave a comment we love the comments always love the comments I keep the comments comments coming guys yeah, yeah we love the comments having a good time talking to y'all man a lot, a lot of fun, even with the haters when they come come strolling in. Also, if you don't like looking at our mug nope. and you just want to listen to us in podcast form, go to the Hyphen Podcast Group. You can find us, our podcast, streaming all over, streaming all over, all available streaming formats and media. Um, but you can get it exclusively at the hyphen podcast group.com. Yes. Yeah, get that. And, 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 um, the link for that is right down in the description box, too. We also have description links down there for, for Browns and Up Blood t-shirts and hyphen, podcra- hyphen podcast group t-shirts. So if you get your t-shirt game on. There'll be great gifts for Christmas. Get that. All those links are down there. Just click it. That's all we got for today. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's close out strong, um, Brownies. All divisional That's- play right now. Bengals, Ravens. I already, I told you last week. We yeah, got you, this. Yeah, we, you, you done said that. You think we lock. We're, yeah, we're closing out. We're going to be 8-7-1. Eight, eight, I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, till next week, man. I'm Eric Jordan. 
I'm Anthony Sellers. And this is Browns, Browns in Our Blood. Blood. Way to go, brownies. Way to go, baby.